It's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a delicious one pot vegan mushroom stroganoff. But first, I need to tell you guys why I am a terrible person. Okay, so I'm not really a terrible person, but as you guys know, I just stayed with my friends Jasmine and Chris in LA and we do a monthly collaboration together with their blog, Sweet Simple Vegan, and we filmed an intro there, but I accidentally deleted the file, so Here's my solution. So Jasmine, Chris, and I are all making you guys one pot recipes this month. And Jasmine and Chris, what did you decide to make our audience? Sure, Caitlin. We are making a one pot cauliflower curry. Wow, that sounds delicious. And also this recipe is in their ebook. So you guys should totally check that out. I'll have it linked below as well. And as always, because we do monthly collaborations, you guys get to vote in the top corner of your screen right under Chris here, what you want to be next. So Jasmine and Chris, can you tell us our options for next month? We're between a holiday appetizer and a holiday breakfast recipe. Sounds delicious. So let's get into cooking. All right, so first for our mushroom stroganoff, we're going to start out by cleaning our mushrooms. And because this is a one pot recipe and the amount of liquid matters, I wanted to show you guys the proper way to clean your mushrooms. You actually want to use a damp paper towel or a damp cloth and you just rub the outside of the mushroom. And as you can see, this gets the dirt and debris off of the mushroom and it doesn't get the mushroom super soggy like it would if you just ran them under the sink because they absorb water more that way. So afterwards, you're just going to chop your mushrooms up. You want them to be in pretty large pieces because they're imitating the beef here. So I cut them in half or in quarters, depending on how big they are. And then to make our recipe, we're going to start by adding a splash of water to a pan and some sliced onions. Then you're just going to saute these for a few minutes over medium heat until they're translucent. Then we're going to add in our pasta. I decided to use a gluten-free rotini here, but feel free to use whatever noodle you would like. Then we're going to add in our chopped mushrooms, some nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt and pepper. I like a lot of pepper. I would recommend a lot of pepper. And then we're going to add in some veggie broth and I am using this beef flavored veggie broth. It is vegan as you can see by this label here. There's a no beef base. So no animals harmed, but still tastes like beef, which is good because normally mushroom stroganoff has beef in it. So we're just going to mix everything together and we're going to bring this into a simmer. And then once it's simmering, we're going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes and we're going to stir pretty occasionally. And we're putting in a specific amount of liquid. So the pasta will absorb all of the liquid and cook completely. And we'll just be left with a sauce left in the pan. So make sure you look at the recipe, which I'll have linked in the description of the video. I think it's really cool that you can cook pasta just in one pot and you don't have to drain it. So I was excited to film this recipe. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Once our pasta is completely cooked and it looks nice and bubbly, we're going to add in some raw cashew butter. If you don't have cashew butter, you can make your own using cashews, but to keep this a one pot recipe, I didn't want to use a blender, so I decided to use cashew butter. So we're going to add that into our pot to make everything nice and creamy. And normally mushroom straw off does have heavy cream in the sauce so I wanted to sort of imitate that and cashews have a really mild flavor so this works out really well and then finally we're just going to add in the juice of half of a lemon to give this a little bit more tang like a cheesy pasta normally would and I had to include some glamour shots of this creamy and thick AF mushroom stroganoff because I mean guys Look at that, it looks so delicious. So then after it's all cooked up, you can just serve it in a bowl however you'd like. I decided to top mine with a little bit of fresh parsley to give some color, you know, cause it's kind of brown. Then I added some fresh pepper, added a spoon, cause you know you gotta eat it with something and we are all finished. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks again for Jasmine and Chris for joining me in this video. I feel like you guys probably think I'm really weird right now, but this is my solution and I feel like you guys would think this was funny. So don't forget to check out their curry recipe, which I'll have linked below. And also don't forget to vote in next month's recipe collaboration. I won't make cutouts for them next time, I promise. Please still stay subscribed to my channel. Okay, bye, thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.